Hi, chem students. Let's talk about salts. In the past, when you were taking a, a chemistry course, you probably learned this little saying that an acid plus a base will yield a salt in water. And this is true for dealing with an arrhenius acid and base pair. But it's not necessarily true for all things. But the key thing is that this, these acids and bases that we've been discussing are, are, are highly connected to salts. And therefore, we might expect salts to have some of the properties of the acids and bases that make them up. So, for example, what would, what would something like sodium fluoride, how would it behave? Would this thing behave maybe like an acid? Maybe like a base? How can we tell just by looking at it? Is there a way to make that prediction? And then later on, is there a way to quantify it? So this first video is about looking at it qualitatively and trying to decide, is a salt going to act like an acid or a base or be neutral? So the best way to start with this is to think about this acid and base making a salt and water. Think of these as the parents. So these are the parents of what? Of the salt. And if one of the parents has dominant characteristics, then the, then the, then the, the salt will take on the characteristics of that, of that uh, parent. So we have a few options here. We can have a salt be prepared from a strong acid plus a strong base. Or another option would be a strong acid and a weak base, or a weak acid, and a strong base. And then finally, our last option is to have both a weak acid and a weak base. So these are our possibilities right here. And in each of these cases, we can kind of get an idea of what's going on in terms of the salt properties when it gets done. So this very first one, by the way, um, strong acid, strong base, this will, this will give us a neutral solution. And this is the neutralization reaction that you saw in, in your earlier chem classes. And that's because the salt itself has an equal strength, I guess, of acid characteristic and an equal strength of base characteristics. And those two things cancel each other out. However, if we look at the strong acid and the weak base, this is going to give us an acidic solution. The reason should be clear. The acid has a strong characteristics while the base has weak characteristics and so the salt will take on the stronger of the two characteristics and be acidic. Our third, our third option is weak acid and strong base. Obviously, I think you've picked up the trend. This is going to create a basic solution because the base characteristics are stronger than the weak, uh, than the acid characteristics. And then finally, the fourth one, where they're both weak, so we have to know what those equilibrium constants are to make this decision. So this one depends on Ka and Kb. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a couple examples and see if you can figure out uh, what our salt uh, would be, a strong or a weak. So I'm going to erase the page here and it's going to magically get clear. Okay, let's take a look at these three salts right here and try to predict whether they're going to be acidic, basic, or neutral. And remember, the way we do that is we have to uh, identify whether or not our pieces that make up our salt come from a, uh, a parent that is strong or weak. And so just a reminder on that to help you out. So how do we make something like sodium fluoride? Well, this would be made by maybe sodium hydroxide plus hydrofluoric acid. If these two solutions were mixed, then your salt would be sodium fluoride, and you would make water. Fantastic. So that's how we would make it. How did I come to that conclusion? Well, all of, the, all of our examples here are going to have a cation, which I've highlighted, and an anion, which I'll highlight with a different color right here. 
So since we've got an, uh, an anion and a cation, where do they come from? Which part of the uh, which part of our of our acid and base do they come from? Well, let's take a look. Here is the sodium, and it's part of our base. So the cation comes from our base, and here's our acid. And if you look very carefully, there's the fluorine. It, it the fluoride it comes from our acid. So we can always find these by knowing that it's always going to go base then acid, base then acid, base then acid when we look at our ions that make up our salt. All right, so now that we have that in this first example, it should be fairly clear that sodium hydroxide is a strong, that's a strong base, while hydrofluoric acid, that's a weak acid. Therefore, sodium fluoride, sodium fluoride, this solution right here is going to be basic. It's going to take on the characteristics of the strong component in this case. All right, calcium chloride, how does that look? Well, with calcium chloride, we've got two substances that are going to make it an acid and a base. Our base is going to be the calcium hydroxide. Our acid is going to be HCl, hydrochloric acid. And it turns out that both of these, both of them are strong. So if this is a strong acid, a strong base, and this is a strong acid, because they're both strong, they neutralize each other, and we would expect this to be a neutral salt. A neutral solution would be created from it. And then finally, let's look at this last example, ammonium bromide. The, this is going to come from, and this is a little bit more challenging, where does this guy ammonia come from? It's not a hydroxide, Arrhenius type base at all. It's from ammonia, NH3. So that ammonium comes from NH3, and the bromide comes from HBr. And we know that this is a strong acid, and that ammonia is a weak base. All right. So if ammonia is weak, if the base is weak, and the acid strong, this is going to create an acidic solution. So to qualitatively get the understanding of how uh, salts will change the pH of water and what, what kind of solutions they'll create, then you need to first look at the parents of that salt. So keep that in mind and take practice in trying to identify the salts because people find this very challenging uh, to differentiate the acids, bases, and salts that they see.